guys. Training day with my boy John Binford. On my way to the gym right now, still in rehab mode, and it's kind of back to vlog life because I haven't dunked in so long, but I'm like, you know what? I should still be documenting. I've been documenting for myself, but I want to document for you guys so you can see the whole journey. So when I get back to dunking, oh, it's going to be a long road. Woo! Welcome back to the dunk life where dreams get dunked on. Today's another episode of my journey back from my hamstring injury tons of information that you guys should know for how you do your movements so you can learn a lot from today's and I'll break down every exercise I do so subscribe if you want to help me have more patience because I'm kind of losing my mind and every piece of content as always is to help you achieve your dreams and just enjoy life baby enjoy let's get it. about some mobility practice. So here we are, we got our hip car. All right, controlled articulating rotation. He's gonna try to be as still as he can by radiating through the rest of his body and pushing this stick into the wall here. All right, you'll see him to the point where he's almost shaking. His whole body's so still, right, everywhere else. And just the hip capsule is moving around. We're checking and training the integrity of his hip in rotation, all right? All you need is body weight and something to give you feedback for your core, and here we go, all right? Staying good, strong through there. Pick this thing up and around, start to lift the ankle up, internal rotation, all right? Keep that knee up high, good. Keep feeding into your hips. Bring that thing up and around, meet the other leg. Good. This is where it gets tough here. Good, keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching, working, working, working. Pushing that stick into the wall. Nice job. Feels like I was hip hiking. Hip hiking a little bit, okay. So what I'm gonna do, if he feels like he's hiking his hips up, I'm just gonna put my hands right here, give him some feedback. Again, I'm not doing any work for him, I'm just giving him feedback to show him if that hip's hiking, tr finding the true integrity of what he can do in his hip now, in his hip car, all right? Not gonna let him cheat it. Good, kicking it back. Think external rotation, external rotation. Good, pick that foot up. There you go, way to keep that foot high. Come on, foot high, all the way up and around. Oh yeah, feeling some snap crackles and pops in there. Good job. One more time, on your own. Good, ankle up, ankle up, ankle up. There you go, nice job, good. All right. So As you can see, I have such limited range. It's even hard to watch. I feel like I'm pushing it higher than it is. It's so limited. It's so difficult. I'm pushing myself so hard onto the glute bridges. Stability ball, hamstring curl, laying on your back. All right, now this one is a good one to test with single leg and with two legs. What, we're, what we'll start with is a single leg. When we're noticing that there could be an injury on one leg versus the other, okay, so we've got unilateral, we've got single leg training. That's something that we definitely want to target. Um, thinking like a rehab approach, if we feel pain, that's an alarm, right? We want to be thinking, okay, well, I have movement in my knee. I have movement in my hip. How much? Bridge up, find the center of the ball, keep your leg at 90, and just go up and down. Good. Find your right glute. Keep everything else still over here. This shouldn't be moving all around. That's why I was trying to just keep you attention there. Good, strong core position. Breathe into your belly. Good, belly breathing. And try not to pull the ball in. Think about pushing the ball down into the floor. Yeah. There you go, three more. 
Two more. One more, keep breathing into the belly. Good job, yep, switch legs. Yep, five, four, three, two, one, good. Keep the rest of the body strong, there you go. Earn it on the way out, earn every inch of it. Good, back in, four more. Keep your butt up, let's go, there you go, there you go, come on. Yep, keep squeezing to your butt. Come on again, one more. Just like our Nordic, that's our determining factor whether we own it or not, right? You just said it on your last set. I lost my glute a little bit, right? We can't lose that glute. Otherwise, it's not hamstring, right? It's low back. Oh, shit. Good job. Uh, that was one rep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with these glute bridges, I'm really focusing on my butt. It feels really good because it doesn't feel like I'm hurting my hamstring at all, but I'm strengthening so many things around. It feels like I'm hitting every muscle in the back of my leg, but it's not lengthening my hamstring, so it feels great. We need as much knee flexion as we can to maintain our back straight. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do multiple reps in a row. We're gonna be mindful of our lumbo pelvic hip. All right, lumbo pelvic. Squat. Good job. Yeah, there we go. Hinge, 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 and squat. Up. Good, Steve. Hinge. Hinge. Keep tearing your kettlebell in half. Push the hamstring back. Squat. Good. Don't come forward on that forefoot. Keep that weight back here. Toes are down, but just don't come up on those toes there. All right? Shift it a little bit at the bottom. Keep your big toe down. There you go. There we go. There we go. Squat it. Good. One more. Keep tearing the handle in half. Squat it. Down. Good job. That's the deadlifts that we need to be doing for that leg. All right, the bilateral is great. Unilateral is specific. All right, now this bad boy, I was really pushing my hips back. It hurt a good amount, but I haven't really pushed my hamstring in a long time, so I really need to start testing it, and that's what we're doing. And today, the day after, it feels great. I went for a run this morning, learning about my cardio, and I'm really feeling like I'm on the right track, so I'm excited. Thanks for tuning in. I know it was a ton of information. He was really focused on my injury specifically, but if you can learn from the things he was saying and the way I'm learning about my body and approaching this injury, you can learn about your own journey, and that's the goal. Goal. So I'll see you next week. Dunk like baby. Woo! Monday, baby. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling bad. 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 I'm feeling b